Hello my friends and welcome to another exciting episode of Hunting Rocks. As always, I am your hunting guide, Jeff. And today I am with Dustin Fines Rocks. That's Dustin. That's Cash, his son. And of course, we're out at Trainer Rocks Canal, one of my favorite places to be. Well, Shoto Island, Trainer Rocks Canal is over that way. But uh, anyhow, the water's low, real low, and it's gonna drop even more, so let's go see what we can find. All right, guys, here we are down by the river. Uh, water level is down, and I'm already finding some really pretty pieces of quartz. You know I like the quartz. But I saw something over here that was interesting, and I've lost it. Here's a little death plate. It's got some croinoids and shell in it, pretty beat up. Piece of that granite, that definitely came from upriver. And I had a piece I was going to show you, but I lost it. If I find it again, I'll show you on camera. This isn't it, but that's pretty cool. Take this with me. So this is a Rugo's Horn Coral that Cash just found, and this thing is in real nice shape. Look at that. That's pretty good size, too. Good job, buddy. Thank you. So Dustin right here just found one of the best honey agates I've ever seen. Woo! Look at this thing. Let's hold it up to the sun. That is super nice. That's a big one for around here. Really good color to it. You can kind of see the styrations in it. Well done, Dustin. I'm going to throw that in your bucket. All right, yeah, thanks. Pretty stoked about that. I should have just ran, guys. There was a nice honey agate. <laughs> I'm finding these other agates here. Oh, yeah, those are some nice agates. There's a. Yeah, some kind of agates. Just a piece of quartz, but it's not bad looking. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Yeah. Almost looks like amber. It is not. So I don't know if this will show up on camera or not. This piece has ever so slight purple to it. I think, you guys, I found a piece of very, very tumbled amethyst out here. All right, everybody was finding honey agate, but me, well, I just popped up a real nice piece right here. Not nearly as big as theirs, but that's pretty cool. So, not a rock, but you know me and my love of the periwinkle shells. Uh, that one's broken. Oh, well. This one's in really good shape, though. That'll go in the bag. What do we got over here? Uh, nope, just some tumbled shirt. Nothing big, nothing to write home about. Here's a tiny honey agate. Very small. In another week, oh, hold on, honey agate. In another week, this water's gonna be down another three foot. They're calling for negative four foot of water in St. Louis by December 9th. And if this drought keeps up, we may see negative six foot, I'm thinking. Which, it's not great for the boats. But it will uncover the chain there, which is that waterfall thing you see. And uh, we'll probably be out another 40 foot that way. Just found my first piece of petrified wood for the day. Not a bad piece at all. So natural erosion does some weird things to rocks. That's not a bone, but... That's been tumbled and bumbled down this river for a long time and made almost like a, an anvil. I think that's a really pretty jasper here. And then just a couple of tumbled quartz pieces. Those I like to put in the rock tumbler. A lot of people aren't fans. They're like, oh, you can find those everywhere. And that's true, but they're pretty. Why are you going to hate on a pretty rock? Decent little honey agate here. And then over here, I just saw a piece of jasper. I tell you what, you take your eyes off of it for a second, you'll lose it. There's some burnt rock here from a fire. And that always gets a red color as it changes. Like this piece of quartz here. It's a little windy out here today, a little chilly. It's not horrible. For being this late in November. Come on, man. 
I just found a really cool honey agate. This is not melted glass. This is actually a honey agate. And it has a very interesting shape to it. This is cool. I don't know, man. I think that was the one that I dropped earlier. Yeah, Dustin thinks, uh, what color is it? it? It's honey colored. Dang it, he's got me. <laughs> <laughs> Another pretty shell. It's got some blue and purple. That's just from it being faded away over time. Well, all right, you guys, that was the trip to Chain of Rocks. We're gonna head out. I think we're gonna go to another spot because it's a little brisk down here by the river. And uh, we're gonna see if we can't find some geodes. What's going on, guys? Second spot. I got Dustin up here and uh, we're finding some geodes. And I see a great big geode on the ground. It's the first time I've had Dustin here. Ran into some other rock hounds, which is always cool. It's rare to run into rock hounds while you're out hunting. Well, I don't know if this is a geode or not. It's weird, probably just a big chert nodule, but it's kind of cool. I'm gonna throw it in the bag. However, this one here is a geode. Look at that. Let me give it a shake. Nope, no rattle. Interesting. Probably the so I'm finding of lots geode. of little kinda bitty weird. geodes today. That's cool. That's cool. Let's see what we got over here. A lot easier when there's not all this brush in the way, but oh, there's a nice one. Oh yeah, I just saw it too. Is this one? Yep, go ahead. Dustin, give that a shake, see if it rattles. I don't hear anything. Here, let me take a peek real quick. Nope, no rattle, but that is a geode. There you are, sir. Okay, whoa! Oh. <laughs> Just pulled this geode out, and it's got a little uh, piece of quartz in there. It looks like a little baby bunny hiding. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna leave this one just as it is. I'm giving Cash a hard time. I'm singing the Greedy for Trilobite song, but uh, that's a nice looking UFO geode. I like that. That's why I like this creek. Here's two more trilobites, or trilobites, now Cash has me doing it. Here's two more geodes, small ones. Here's one that's been busted open. Let's take a look inside. A little dirty in there, but still kind of cool. Another little geode. Strange looking weathered away rock. Well guys, I just picked up my first rattler and I see another geode down here that I'm gonna get. And it looks like it may be my first fairly decent sized one. And it rattles. Excellent, most excellent. What have we got here? I'm not exactly sure what that is. Another nice little geode, and then a nice little geode here. The geode spot is much easier to find geodes than it is to find my sweet honey agates, a chain of rocks. Here's some nasty wet geodes. They'll clean up, they'll become pretty. I like geodes. A lot of them are like people. They may be ugly on the outside, but they're beautiful on the inside. Weird looking rocks is all. There's a decent geode in the water here. Try to keep my feet fairly dry. Nope, not a geode, it bamboozled me. So I'm a little further up than I've ever been and uh, I'm still finding some okay geodes. It's a nice, very light geode. And I'm curious if perhaps 
this creek here where I'm at doesn't have quite as many as the other one. And from what I'm seeing, nice popped open one, it really doesn't. So I'm going to go back to the main creek where I know I can be at. I don't think I'm on private property here, but it's best to turn around just in case. I don't want to trespass on somebody's property. Start making my way back to what I know and I'm sure I'll find more geodes. Well, I just pulled this big disgusting monster out of the water. That's all right, this is a nice one. It's got some rattle to it. Cannot complain about that. The rattle means that there's loose stuff inside of them, loose crystals that have formed, are broken free over time. That's a half a geode, I'm gonna leave it. But this one over here, I'm gonna check out real quick. It's a nice size one, and it's got a good rattle to it. Not too shabby. Another nice tra or, uh, geode. And here's a whole pile of them. Holy cow. Like there's one, there's one, the there's one, there's one, yeah there's a bunch of them here, dude and there's a crazy cool fossil right here, hold on a second, let me grab this, oh, there's a little baby geode, I like those, that's impressive, that one's cool, there's one that broke open, that's super nice inside, holy cow, I gotta show this to Dustin. All right. So Dustin just picked this up. It looks artifacty. It might be, it might just be natural or a flake, which would be artifact, but that's crazy. I just found this cracked open geode that looks like an egg, but that's really cool. Nice size chert nodule to cut. Oh, my bag's getting heavy. I'm gonna walk a couple more feet and I think we're gonna turn around and head out. Ugh. Dustin? Nice. You want that one? That's one of those red ones inside, I believe. I think that's just a piece of chert. I think it's just a piece of chert. It might be. I would carry it, but it's hey, I would carry it, but it's too heavy. I am going to carry this one though. A little bit of rattle. I think that's about all I'm going to pick up here. Both of these rattle. Those are both going in the bucket. The bucket is getting pretty heavy. Probably a chert nodule, but it's still pretty cool. This one, however, is not a chert nodule. These two actually are geodes. That's a geode, and that's a geode. All right, you guys, my bag is full. I don't wanna load any more. I say that as I look at this one. So this is the last one I'm grabbing. Yep, that's it. Oh, and it's a rattler. Very nice. Yeah. I say one last rock, but that's a lie. I had to pick this up. This is a really nice cross section of some Crinoid. So this this will come with me. But other than that, I think I'm done. Because I gotta walk back and I really don't want to have to heft this stuff the quarter mile or so we're away from the truck. But anywho, I will see you guys once we get back to the truck. Well, here they are guys. Here are my best finds from Chain of Rocks yesterday. These are the ones that I'm going to keep and do stuff with. Got some really nice honey agates. A couple pieces of really pretty quartz. Of course, my shells that I love. Piece of jasper and my weird anvil stone. I don't know what it is, but it's even got a little piece of metal they're working on. And of course, my big pile of geodes, which I have to go through and cut and all that good stuff. Here's one that actually broke open on me, but... 
you can see they've they're pretty pretty cool looking inside. Uh, most of them have the milky quartz, but that is all quartz. Later video, I will do one where I start cutting these for you guys. I don't cut all my geodes. I actually sell a lot of them as full pieces, so people can cut them open themselves. But some of the ugly ones I'll definitely cut. Why do I say ugly ones? I mean ones that have, you know, been broken already. But I get them in all sizes, from little bitty ones all the way up to great big honking ones. That creek is always good. In fact, whenever I was a kid, we found one that was about the size of a bowling ball out there. Alright, you guys, as always, thank you for watching. I hope I can get a like, share, and subscribe. Hamilton, of course, hopes I can get a like, share, and subscribe, don't you, buddy? Uh, but that was our adventure at two different spots. That was uh, Chain of Rocks, and that was also the Trilobite spot. Or, I'm sorry, not trilobite spot, uh, the geode spot. The geode spot's up near the trilobite spot. But uh, I didn't get any cut open because, well, it is December. It's kind of cold. And uh, as you can see, I'm already kind of fighting a cold because I was using my rock saw recently and got kind of wet. It's my own fault. But uh, I, will, uh, I will try to get those cut up if I get a warm day. Otherwise, you'll probably see me cut some of those geodes come springtime. I might... I might be like, hey, I know, I'll just cut geodes for a video. But anywho, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, as always, I hope to see you the next time I'm out hunting rocks. Have a good one.